Pirouettes, plies, and grand jetés will be on full display in Carmel tomorrow through Sunday. Hundreds of aspiring ballet dancers, ages 9 to 19, auditioning for scholarships in the world's largest student ballet competition. And you can watch them perform for free. Joining me live to talk more, Cadence Burke, a 17-year-old dancer with the Indiana Ballet Conservatory, and Sergey. Gordeyev, Director of External Affairs for the Youth American Grand Prix. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Sergey, I'm going to start with you. I know that it's important for you this morning to really talk about the importance of art. Why is that so important for you to make sure our viewers hear that? Well, look, I think, you know, it's, it's everybody knows just how, what a complicated world we live in. And one of the, I personally know, no better way to express yourself, to deal mm -hmm. with your emotions, to understand the world around you than, than through art. And I think, you know, after a year of the pandemic, these dancers were locked in their kitchens and garages and living rooms trying to do what they love, which is dance, you know, to, to for us to be able to give these dancers a chance to express themselves to them, you know, through themselves and, and to their audiences and on stage, it's it's healing. It's important. It's I, I couldn't tell you, you know, just how strongly we feel that uh, you know, for a dancer to to have a chance to dance, this is um, healing for themselves and for the world. It just makes the world a better place. That's that's what we feel. Wow. Which is why we're giving a chance for them to dance safely on stage. You know, we we're very uh, serious about dancer safety and, and health and following all the product protocols, socially distanced masks, everything. So be, be, be an artist, express yourself, but safely. Yes. Cadence, I want you to jump in here as we were looking at some of the video and he was mentioning being strong, you know, mentally, <laughs> physically, your strength and the mind, what it takes to be able to compete at this level. I want you just to briefly tell us um, kind of what are you expecting to get out of this weekend? I mean, and where are you hoping to end up through all this? Well, this year I have already um, competed in a couple of YGPs. Mm -hmm. I've done this for the past few years now. It's actually how I found out about Indiana Ballet Conservatory because I was at a YGP like four years ago yeah. and I saw some beautiful ballet dancers and saw that they trained at IBC. So when my family moved for me to train for ballet, we decided to go to Indiana Ballet Conservatory. And this year I've competed a few times. And I mean, why would you be such an amazing opportunity to be seen by so like a vast variety of judges and teachers from all around the world? And you never know who's going to notice you mm -hmm. and or see some potential or something that they might like. So it's really always a good opportunity to go and be seen and see like who might be interested in you in the future or for summer intensives. And it really gives you a good opportunity to find out like what might be a good place. Yeah. To do your best. We only have about 15 seconds left, and Sergey, I want to give you the last word on how. What do you want people to know? How do they watch? Uh, just follow Youth America Grand Prix on Instagram. We put all of our news on there, and this is a beautiful way for you to be a part of this journey. Art heals. You know, support your dancers, um, whichever way you know how. If your child dances, give them that opportunity. Go to the theater yourself. Uh, just give yourself the gift of dance, and um, mm. it's a beautiful thing. Ah, oh, thank you both. Good luck to you. I hope you, you know, end up where you exactly want to go, the perfect fit for you. For more information on how to watch these young dancers again competing, starting tomorrow, fox59.com slash link.